hello welcome back in this tutorial we are going to be designing this feed guide so to start um, let's change the unit to metric so unit um, metric and I'm going to change my image quality and click OK and we are going to start modeling this by working designing from the bottom up um, so let's just click on the top plane and sketch and draw a center rectangle at the origin point and this length is 125 and the second length is 76 and feature extrude and that is 19 and click OK and again click on this top face sketch number two draw another rectangle center rectangle is 29 and the length is 50 and just extrude it up and it is going to be 95 we can just do 95 minus 19. We just want to extrude this up so it's somewhere in this circle. So since the front the dimension from the bottom to that part is 95, so let's just do 95 minus 19, which gives us 76. And we have that. So now let's click on this face and let's go. Uh, isometric view to make sure we have the right face here click on this face sketch mama to um, draw a circle and the dimension from that center of that circle to the bottom is 95 make sure the center of that circle and the origin point is vertical to each other and the dimension for that circle is 82 so we have something like that and now we are going to feature extrude the first direction if you look over here from the face to this this face of that circle to the face of this second feature we made is 8 so we we'll make that feature 8 and we're going to click on direction 2 and the entire length of that is 48 so the direction 2 will be 40 so we have 8 going in this direction and 40 going in the back direction and click OK so that is that feature and now we are going to click on the front plane and sketch number 2 um, we are going to draw a circle here it's just gonna be like a construction a reference um, sketch so if you look over here the, this circle is also horizontal to that um, center circle we just draw so what we can do is show this feature for now and make click this point and click that point and make them horizontal to each other so again if I go normal to those two points are horizontal and that's what we want and from this face to that face the dimension is 22 and the dimension for this is uh, 6 so we can make that a construction second for now because we don't need it and we are going to draw uh, the feature at the top so draw a circle something like that make this circle the center of that circle and the center of this circle vertical and the dimension is between those two circle is 41 and draw a line that is tangent to that circle uh, something like that and something like that and make and I'm just going to trim this off I'm going to trim that and trim this and I'm also going to constrain this um, this bottom to that just to constrain it so it's not moving around 
and the radius for this is going to be um, over here it is 16 so we have 16 and our sketch is fully defined so what we are going to do now is feature extrude by the mid plane and it is 29 plus 29 plus 2 so if my math is right so that will be 58 60 and we can also do the math in here 29 plus 29 plus 2 which is 60 and click OK so we have that so we pretty much almost done with our feature now we just need to start cutting everything out and we can delete um, not delete but hide that sketch so now what we want to do is on the bottom face we have that slot so we click on it sketch number two and we can draw a center um, this, which is the first one a straight slot we can draw that something like that and the dimension from from this edge to that face is 33 so we're going to make that 33 and the dimension from here to here is 10 so that's what we see over here oh not not 10 not from there I'm sorry um, the dimension from here is 10 so that's what we see over here it's 33 from this face and it's 10 from there and the radius of this is going to be it's going to be 4 so this is 4 radius and also we need one more dimension which is um, from this edge to that edge is going to be 21 so it's fully defined just to verify 33 10 and and 4 yes so we are going to feature extrude cut up to next and click OK and we are just going to mirror that feature over so mirror um, we want to mirror it about the right plane and this feature and click OK and again we want to select this face sketch and draw a circle draw the second circle which is on this face draw a circle that is centered to that circle and again we are going to do 53 so that's a limit dimension so you want something in the middle so it's 53.98 plus 53.90 divided by 2 so which gives you 53.94 and feature extrude cut up to next and click OK again click on this face sketch and number two and just draw like a center rectangle um, somewhere over here just something that is sticking out and make sure the center and the origin point is vertical to each other and this is going to be two and from this edge to that edge is 29 so so it, because we center it everything is lining up so the only thing we need to do is just we can make this coincident with that point and add a dimension to the bottom just to fully define it as long as that is sticking in there it's fine so we can make it 84 so that sketch is fully defined and we are going to feature extrude cut up to next and click OK. So we have that. Again click on this face sketch 
uh, normal to draw a circle draw a circle and make sure this circle and that edge is concentric with each other so they have the same point and that circle the diameter is 13 and feature extrude cut and again we want to do true all um, so we want to do true all so we have that and click OK so we pretty much have all our feature everything is done and let's go number two um, I'm going to click my symmetric view remember we made that sketch and let me find that it is this one show that sketch for now and on the front plane draw another sketch number two and now click on that sketch and convert entity e and you can hide this sketch now so we have something like that and now we're just going to extrude cut in the opposite direction up to next and click ok and we have all our feature is done the next thing we need to do is just add our fillet and fillet this is 6 change the radius to 6 and we'll add 6 over there and click OK and I think other than that the rest of the radius is 3 so we are going to fill it 3 I'm going to add it to these 4 corners um, not that face um, just the 4 corners and this edge that edge that edge this edge not the face that, that edge and I think it's on the bottom too so we're just going to do the bottom edge do everything and we can add it to this edge as well and add it to this edge uh, this edge that here and up here 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 there so we have that and we just have this one more here and here I think we have everything so you just want to add the fillet to all the edge and once you're done click OK so here you go there you have the part we have our fillet all in and I think I have it in all four corners and again I just minimize this and I can add my material um, still let me look for steel and where's the cast carbon steel add it to it and if I go um, my symmetric view there you go uh, let me add it to everything I don't think there you go and you have the part anyway that is how you make it and I'm sorry that this took a little bit longer thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial bye